welcome to Loving the Scriptures. I'm your host, your friend, Joshua Odunlade, and together we will be exploring God's Word to find insights, learn from Him, and to fall more deeply in love with Him today. Let's begin. Hello and welcome to today's episode of the podcast. Today, we are learning from the book of John chapter 18 from verse 15 to 27. And very quickly, before we read the text, I would like us to pray. Dear Father and our God, we say thank you. We glorify your name. We adore your name for all that you have been doing for us. We are grateful and we are thankful. We ask that your name will be glorified in Jesus' name. Lord, if there is any sin that will end our prayers, we ask that you would please forgive us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you would please wash us clean with your blood. We say thank you for your answered our prayers. Lord, please reveal yourself to us in your word. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So as I said earlier, we are learning from John chapter 18 from verses 15 to 24. And we'll be reading that now. So I'll be starting from 15 down to, sorry, that's 24, I meant 27, 15 to 27. I read, I'm reading from the King James Version. And Simon Peter followed Jesus and so did another disciple. That disciple was known unto the high priest and went in with Jesus into the place of the high priest. But Peter stood at the door without, then went out that other disciple, which was known unto the high priest, and spake unto the person that kept the door and brought in Peter. Then said the damsel that kept the door unto Peter, Are you not also one of this man's disciples? He saith, I am not. And the servants and officers stood there, who had made fires of coal. For it was cold, and they warmed themselves, and Peter stood with them and warmed himself. The high priest then asked Jesus of his disciples and of his doctrine. Jesus answered them, I speak openly to the world, I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whither the Jews always resort. And in secret I have said nothing. Why are you asking me? Ask them that heard me what I have said unto them. Behold, they know what I have said. And when he had thus spoken, one of the officers which stood by struck Jesus with the palm of his hand, saying, Answerest thou the high priest so? Jesus answered him, If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why? smitest thou me. Now Annas had sent him bound unto Caiaphas the high priest, and Simon Peter stood and warmed himself. They said therefore unto him, Art thou not one of this man's disciples? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, being his kinsman, whose hair Peter had cut off, said, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Peter denied again and immediately the cock crew. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Amen. So let's just have a discussion centered around the text and what we read today. Well, in today's text, we see a very prominent character apart from Jesus, which is the disciple Peter. And there's something interesting about Peter. You know, in just a few verses ago in this book, he was telling Jesus how that even though everybody leaves you, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Just as how some of us too are telling God the same thing. Lord, even if the whole world turned their backs against you, I will never leave you, Lord. However, we see a different side of brother Peter here. And I am not condemning this apostle because he eventually became the apostle of the Lord. I am not condemning this apostle, but I am trying to show us that, or at least that is what I saw there. I saw that we all in some way look like Peter. At some point we are passionate and we are like, God, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Nothing will ever, ever, ever make me to leave you. 
and then <laughs> but just like peter here just a small girl just a little girl will say i thought you are a believer and will be like well yes but eh, you see as the times are and would be trying to form all sorts of things here peter denied it outright no 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 i was never with him i want you to note something in the text however i want to read verse 19 down to about 21 this was where the high priest or this person was yes the high priest was questioning jesus and was saying who are you what are you teaching but i want you to note something there so i'm reading from verse 19 it says the high priest then asked jesus of his disciples and of his doctrine now i want you to note the high priest specifically asks jesus of his disciples i wonder why they were asking him of his disciples maybe they wanted to crucify all of them who knows but they were asking him of his disciples and how did jesus respond did jesus say oh yes i have these 12 other guys that that need to also take this cup with me you know they have to ah maybe they say they love me they have to be here to die with me jesus did not say that look at how jesus responded jesus protected them jesus stood up for what he has always been saying listen to what he said verse 20 jesus said that i speak openly to the world i always taught in the synagogue and in the temple where the jews always were i have taught nothing in secret so why are you asking me ask the people that heard me what i have said unto them behold they will tell you what i have said or behold they know what i have said now i want you to note that jesus was here protecting his disciples but his disciple peter was there denying him hmm. it kind of shows us the the point that even when we deny jesus jesus is still there ready to receive us back and for the apostle or the disciple here that denied jesus i want you to wonder why do you think he denied jesus why do you think the almighty disciple peter at this point was denying jesus well a guess is that he didn't want to die that's a good guess he didn't want to die because it was starting to look like jesus would actually die you know before jesus was saying all of those things that he would go to the father and all of that but it was still theory now they were actually about to crucify jesus and peter wanted to see would would they really crucify my lord at least that's what i'm thinking would they really crucify my lord and he was following he was following he was following there was one other disciple too that was there that one must have been very well connected we know that that person is the disciple john he was there inside and he spoke to this lady to open the door i'm wondering why this lady did not recognize the the disciple that spoke to her but recognized peter like are you wondering too with me like he did not say she did not say you that you are speaking to me are you not one of the disciples of this man but no she said to the person that he asked her to open the door for that ah brother 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 i think are you not one of this man's disciples are you wondering with me why it is that they recognize peter and not this other disciple well uh, we keep wondering too i don't know probably peter was one of the prominent disciples of jesus christ probably but the point remains that peter didn't want to die just like how many of us or for some reason peter was afraid of them arresting him to and subjecting him to the same subjecting him to the same thing that jesus was going through it's the same for some of us too today we don't want to die as well we don't want to be subjected to pain and to terror and to hmm, and to all of these things so it is easier sometimes for us to deny jesus than to identify with him but now i want to ask you we have read this text we've read peter's first denial we read his second denial we read his third denial in fact we read how that one one guy went to slap jesus imagine 
oh god oh god slapped jesus ah with the kind of power that jesus had i mean that guy's hand could have could have could have dried up instantly but jesus just spoke to him and said if i have spoken evil just be a witness of the evil but if i have spoken well why are you why are you slapping me why are you why and we see that jesus was human but he did not he did not use his power to to say oh you you have the power to stop the son of god oh yeah your hand dry up or your leg dry up or something like that we did a lot of things into this episode and we've tried to put ourselves in the setting imagine you were peter following jesus around and this woman this lady is saying i know some of us will be saying oh i would stand for jesus but i want you to think about it very closely let's see how can we put it in our context today okay well our world today is more civilized than um somebody just like they could not just carry somebody and stone them immediately but let me paint a picture so there's a firing squad you see the soldiers with their guns preparing to shoot somebody they've tied the person up to the to the um to the pole and all of a sudden somebody was like this person that they tied up to 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 shoot maybe was involved in a robbery armed robbery or something like that and all of a sudden one lady was just pointing was just looking at you and and was just pointing to you that "Ah, ah, are you not also one of the robbers that came to attack how would you feel would you say yes 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 it was me that is exactly the same thing that peter was going through today so it, it was actually quite difficult for him to stand with jesus but still it doesn't justify it because we know that peter repented eventually so i want to at least this this is making me to ask myself this question and i want to ask you too how have you been denying jesus in your everyday life how have i been denying jesus in my everyday life it's it's a curiosity of mine today and how can i how can i repent from that is it is it that i have been telling people that oh oh uh, I, i'm not really a church 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 kind of person like that so that they will not look at me somehow or is it that i have not been talking about jesus because i don't want to be looked at somehow the question the most important question that we are asking ourselves today is how have i been denying jesus and we are not just asking ourselves that question we are also repenting by the time you identify the ways that you have been denying Jesus, I want you to repent of those things. Let's pray. Dear Father, dear God, we say thank you for today's episode. We are grateful for how you have taught us from your word. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Lord, we ask that every way that we have been denying you, that we would repent and we would stop in the name of Jesus. We say thank you for having answered our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I believe you have been blessed by this episode of the podcast. Please follow us on this platform or on wherever you get your podcast. Also, please share with your friends and family so that they can be blessed by it too. Till we meet again, keep seeking, keep searching. Keep meditating on God's word and keep on loving your scriptures and keep on loving God. God bless you.